If your wireless access point does not have an external WPS button, you can use the WBPN's web user interface to associate it with your wireless access point. Direct your browser to the current IP address of the WBPN, in this video the address of 192.168.12.13 is used. Log in to the WBPN with the default credentials of Cisco, Cisco. Click login to access the web user interface. This is the first time you've accessed it, the setup wizard will run. Click next to change the default user and password. Type in a username that you'd like to access the device with. In this example I'm going to use the username of my user with a password of my user1. Type the password in again to confirm it and then click next. In step 3 you can configure the device to use a static IP address or a dynamically assigned IP address. Click next to configure the wireless LAN settings. Click site survey to view the broadcast SSIDs. Click refresh to update the display. Click black to return to the choices. Select WPS and click next to display the WPS options available. There are three WPS options available to you. You can configure using the device's own PIN number, you could use the PIN number of the um, access point, or you can use the push button configuration. I'll demonstrate using the push button configuration by accessing my Cisco Services Ready platform. I'll log in as the administrator, and then I'll navigate to the WPS configuration page. Notice there's three options, so I'll click on the soft button and then I'll move to back to my WBPN and I'll start the push button configuration. At this point the WBPN is now searching and attempting to associate with an access point. During the initial WPS sequence the browser page counts down from 20 seconds after which it displays the status of the WBPN. Notice that the state is scanning. Once the WBPN has successfully associated with the access point it restarts. When prompted Click Try Again to access the WBPN. Type in the new credentials that you assigned to it and click Login. You'll notice from the status page that the device's state is now connected and is using encryption. That's all there is to it. I'm done. I can now log out, power down the WBPN, disconnect it from my computer, connect it to my phone, power it up and I've now got a wireless spa IP phone.